To you know, to make my skin look as nice. beautiful as it is, you know. <laughs> okay. Suggested to me by my friend. <laughs> uh, I guess we can go. Alright, let's do it. Alright, what are we doing today? Oh, what are we gonna do at the gym? We're gonna lift the weights to make our arms bigger. Wow, bigger? Why do you want bigger arms? Only the right one. What's the use of a bigger arm? I can put moisturizer on my face stronger. <laughs> All right, I have a confession to make. I'm very insecure about how skinny I am. And I've been insecure about how skinny I am for a long time. I want to be 100% transparent with the vlog. So, look at this. This is me right now, and we're going to work on it. Ever since I was really, really young, I was always insecure about the way I looked. My friends at school would always tease me about it. I would hate going to the beach, hate going to like um, gym class in school. These are things that my whole life I've avoided and I've made attempts to go to the gym before but you know how it goes, you get a membership, you go for like two days and then you fucking quit because you get demotivated, you don't really know what to do. All the information that's out there on the web is like so confusing, like you don't know if you're supposed to lift really hard and you don't know, you don't know what you're supposed to eat, it's all really weird. Out of all the things that I used to be insecure about, I think I fixed like practically everything but one of the remaining things is this. It's time to address this as well and really be consistent and do everything that I really ever wanted to do. Yeah, that's basically it. So, we're gonna get started with the gym. You look good anyway. <laughs> Thanks, man. I know I look good, but... <laughs> you look better. Not with the shirt off. Not with the shirt off. All right. So, from this day, we're starting trying to make a habit. Let's see if it sticks. Let's do it. Let's do it. Fun fact number four, the English language is one of the most widely spoken language in all the world. This park's kind of nice. Oh, that is a rice field. So we just found a rice field in the middle of Tokyo, in Meguro somewhere. Which is very random, very random place for a rice field, but I don't know, if you want to put a rice field, you know, who am I to judge? You know? So looking at the rice fields, I was thinking about something very cool that I learned recently. So they, I've been told, as I was eating my rice one day, that, I don't know if you know, but in Japan when you eat rice in a bowl, it's not the rice that we eat in Europe, it's sticky. So it sticks to the bowl. And I think anybody, Basically everybody, they always leave some rice on the stick to the bowl, right? And you just leave it like that and then, you know, it goes to waste. But this person told me that her grandfather who was Japanese. One day, taught her that each rice, each grain of rice, it's a, it's a job, it's a work. So you should never leave rice on the stick to the bowl. Because to pick one little grain of rice in those rice fields is a fucking tough job it's, it's super fucking difficult it's super fucking tiring so those people pick rice for you to eat and if you leave it stick to the stick it to the bowl such a fucking waste of like you know human energy and you know what somebody that you even don't even know somewhere in Japan picked for you and you leave it stick to the fucking bowl when you can fucking eat it and get energy from that so now every time I eat I think about this story I think about every grain it's a job every grain is work done by somebody so never leave rice in your bowl 
All right, that was a quick vlog, but this was the first of the everyday vlogs, so they're gonna get better, stronger, faster, cooler, nicer. Nice. I don't have any other words. Scrambled eggs. Scrambled eggs. They're gonna get more scrambled eggs. And then, yeah, see you guys tomorrow. Bye bye. I'm the one with the camera. You have it, you have it in your <laughs>